On Sunday, direct attacks against the Saporizhia nuclear power plant marked a major escalation of the nuclear safety and security dangers in Ukraine, significantly increasing the risk of a nuclear accident. We are meeting today, and I will meet the United Nations Security Council next week, because it is of paramount importance to ensure these reckless attacks do not mark the beginning of a new and gravely dangerous front of the war. I firmly appeal to military decision makers to abstain from any action violating the IAEA's five concrete principles to prevent a nuclear accident and ensure the integrity of the plant, and I urge the international community actively to work towards a de-escalation of what is a very serious situation. On Sunday, the International Support and Assistance Mission to ZNPP, ISAMS, as we all know it, confirm the first attacks since November 2022 to directly target the nuclear power plant, which, as you are aware, is Europe's largest facility of this kind. One of these attacks resulted in a direct hit on the reactor dome of Unit 6. Whilst the damage to the structure has not compromised nuclear safety, it is a serious incident with strikes on the ZNPP's primary containment, representing a step change, increase in risk to nuclear safety. The other two attacks were in close proximity to the main reactor buildings and resulted in at least one casualty. A further drone attack and bursts of rifle fire were reported on Tuesday, an ominous indication of an apparent readiness to continue these attacks despite the grave dangers they pose to nuclear safety and security. At the Board of Governors meeting just one month ago, I warned of the precarious situation at ZNPP. But then I was able to report to you that ISAMS had not found any indications the five concrete principles were not being observed. The most recent attacks however, are a clear violation of the principles and have shifted us into an acutely consequential juncture in this war. As I have repeatedly stated, including at the Security Council and this Board of Governors, no one can conceivably benefit or gain any military or political advantage from attacks against nuclear facilities. Attacking a nuclear power plant, ladies and gentlemen, is an absolute no-go. Attacking Saporizhia nuclear power plant means endangering nuclear safety. Among those who could be affected most directly are the people who work at the plant and the experts of the IEA, impartial international civil servants working on behalf of the agency's 178 member states. Sunday's attack fortunately did not compromise nuclear safety in a serious way, but it would be irresponsible for us to assume future attacks will not. Rolling the dice is not the way to do in nuclear safety. Let me reiterate the five concrete principles established at the UN Security Council on 30th May 2023. First, there should be no attack of any kind from or against the plant, in particular targeting the reactors, spent fuel storage, other critical infrastructure or personnel, 
Now compare this with what happened. Number two, ZMPP should not be used as storage or a base for heavy weapons. Examples, multiple rocket launchers, artillery systems, ammunition and tanks, or military personnel that could be used for an attack from the plant. Number three, off-site power to the plant should not be put at risk. To that effect, all efforts should be made to ensure that off-site power remains available and secure at all times. Number four, all structures, systems, and components essential to the safe and secure operation of ZNPP should be protected from attacks or acts of sabotage. Number five, no action should be taken that undermines these principles. I call on maximum restraint and clear observance by all of these fundamental straightforward, indispensable principles. I ask the board unanimously to support the role of the IEA in monitoring them for the benefit of all. We all must use every lever available to us to ensure there are no future attacks on ZNPP. That is why, that is what, sorry, I am doing today and that is what I will do when I travel to the United Nations Security Council next week. That is what I have been doing in crossing the front lines to Saporizia NPP and in meeting the leaders of the states engaged in the war in Ukraine. That is what the IAEA staff stationed at Saporizia nuclear power plant right now are doing. I urge you to make this your highest priority and to support me and the IEA in doing everything in your power to stop this devastating war becoming unconsciously more dangerous through further attacks on ZNPP or on any other nuclear power plant. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman.